All right, so real quick down and dirty video today. Sorry I haven't done a video in a week and a half or so, something like that, because I've been busy. Uh, Steven from the arcade up in Fort Smith, Arkansas, had sent me or brought me about a dozen chassis, I think actually 12 chassis, to work on. And I've been busy trying to get all those done for him, so I didn't make a video last week or over the weekend. Uh, but this is the very last and final chassis that he brought to me is a K4600. And I got it on my tube here that I used to test these. And all of the previous 11 chassis he sent me didn't really need any big work or, or troubleshooting diagnosis. They just basically needed cap kits and parts here and there. Nothing really of note that I haven't already done a dozen videos on. Uh, but the 4600 here is presenting with a unique issue that I want to make a real quick down and dirty video on. Uh, the horizontal hold, I can't adjust the horizontal hold. You can see how it's all scrambled. Well, on the 4600, there are actually two horizontal hold adjustment pots. There is the, there's two actual interface boards. There's a video interface board that hooks up your actual video, where you can see the CG is connected to right there. Then there is a deflection board here, which is for your horizontal and vertical deflection, as you can see. So there is vertical hold is this long one here, and this little one here is horizontal hold. Now I can adjust that horizontal hold pot to my heart's content back and forth, back and forth, and it just it shifts the image around but does not lock on the image. There's a secondary hole adjustment, which is this guy right here, this linear pot, this thing right there. And as a matter of fact, it's meant to be adjustable while it's in the chassis because there is an access hole right there. That access hole is a direct shot right to this thing. So I'm gonna set up the camera here and I'm going to show you how to adjust this. Well, actually, you know, uh, you want to use a, a, a plastic screwdriver whenever you're doing this, but this is the amateur channel and I like to live dangerously, so disclaimer, always use a plastic screwdriver. But you can take this and put this right through this hole right here, and it lines up directly with this thing. And you can just turn that with the screwdriver, and that is a secondary hold adjustment pot. So if I turn, if I turn the horizontal hold pot right there, which is this pot there, each hold, if I adjust that pot on this board, you can see here that as I turn it all the way to the left and back to the right there, see it kind of stops and holds perfect, per pretty good right there, back to the right, loses it, and then that's all the way to the right. So if we set this about where it stops, uh, right about there, okay, so there it's kind of locked on, but it's still not synced. What you have to do is put a screwdriver through that hole line up with this pot and turn that pot. I probably, I, I was gonna put the camera on the tripod, but it's probably gonna be easier just to show you here. So if I put this screwdriver through this hole here and line it up directly on the, okay, so now we're on there and I'm gonna turn this, which is essentially turning that thing right there. Now watch what happens when I turn this. There you go, locked right on. So, if you have horizontal hold problems on the 4600 and, you know, assuming you have it all hooked up correctly, sync on pin 10 only, uh, just like every other Wells Gardner monitor. Um, uh, assuming you don't have the sync hooked up improperly uh, and you don't have a problem with your actual deflection board, that is a secondary horizontal uh, hold adjustment for the 4600. So, after adjusting that, we're, we're uh, horizontals backwards. I can see how we're backwards here. Uh, we can just flip the red and blue, hook up the blue over here, and red over here, which is going to be tough because that's stupid. This stupid thing right here, this 45-year-old uh, cable tie that I just cut. And we'll swap the red and the blue, which is supposed to, that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be red, yellow, green, blue, but they were backwards because uh, I am an, I'm an idiot. So now, it should be correct. And I got, it says, this is my, this is a test tube for this reason. It works, but has intermittent shorted red gun. It's good after a while, but... You can see now that it's not shorted, so I randomly it'll just short the red gun out, and I've tried to fix it, but I can't fix this. That's why it's a test tube. But there you go. Um, let's actually start a game. There we go. So, all right. Well, 
If you have a 4600 with horizontal hold problems, don't forget about this little adjustment right there. That should lock you on. So just something down and dirty, quick and easy for today. I uh, want to put that information out there. Thank you very much. As always, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.